The summer is here. The summer is now. What parks will I be visiting in 2019? It's that time of the year, guys. 2019 is hit, the summer is hit. It's time for me to reveal what parks I will be going to this year in 2019. Just know that I will not, not be giving specific dates because due to reasons I'm not going to be giving a specific date that I'm going to be going to, but, but hey, why not give up what parks you're going to be going to? It's going to be an awesome time. There's a lot of parks I'm going to, and it's going to be awesome. So stay tuned for that real quick. But first, let's... Uh, the 2018 summary. So, in 2018, I visited Maurice Piers, Hershey Park, Trippers Rides, and Jolly Roger on the Pier. So, I mean, it was kind of a lower key summer, but um, but I did get you know on 18 new roller coasters. Started off at 93, and end of end of 2018, I was at 111. So, our first thing is, are there any new credits at the home parks? They actually are. Our first coaster is Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure. I'm excited to get on this thing because it looks so unique. I, mean, I love Universal and I feel like this is definitely going to add to their lineup. And then at Busch Gardens Tampa, they're going to be getting Tigris, which is a Premier Ride Skyrocket 2 coaster. This is a coaster that I'm really excited to get on. Because I really love Tempesto and I'm excited to get back on this ride. So, that will do it for you. Who's ready for the parks? I know I am. Let's get started. This summer's about to be lit. singing sucks, I know. But who's ready for the parks? Let's play a game of Who's Clues? Blue's Clues! Alrighty, so our first clue is that I have been to this park before. A park that I've been to? I don't know! What park have I been to before? There's many parks I've been to before. It has a little state border! Mmm, nice. I like that. I like to hear the sound of that. And also, it has a coaster that has won consistent golden ticket awards. If you combine those three together, you've got Carowinds. That is right, guys. I'm going to be returning to Carowinds this year. This is a park that I've been wanting to go back to since the day I first went there. Because this park is so cool. I'm excited to get on Copperhead Strike. It's a new Mack Rides launch coaster. I'm excited to get on it. And I'm excited to get it back on my number one coaster, which is Fairy 325 and ride some of the other rides such as Intimidator and Afterburn. And this place is just so cool. I absolutely love Carowinds. I'm excited to get back here. It's going to be an awesome day. So next up, let's move on to our second park. So first up, the park's signature snack is this bread style dish. What park has a bread style dish? I don't know. The theming is kind of country themed for our Clue 2. It's themed to like country music, I guess. And one of their coasters for Clue 3 is themed to a 60s car. That's, this is a pretty obvious answer. Dollywood. Guys, I'm going to Dollywood this year. Oh my gosh, like, I am so excited for this park. This is a park that I have been wanting to go to since I became an enthusiast. Mainly because of one and only Lightning Rod. This thing looks so cool, and I still have yet to ride an RMC, so Lightning Rod's going to be my first RMC, and I'm so excited. I'm finally getting on an RMC, guys. I'm so excited. And I'm also excited for the other great rides like Thunderhead, Tennessee Tornado, Wild Eagle, Mystery Mind, Fire Chaser Express, Dragon Flyer, Blazing Fury, and all the other amazing attractions at Dollywood. And, of course, I'm excited for their Cinnamon Bread, too. Sounds really good now. Now I want some cinnamon bread. I'll have to wait for the summer though. <laughs> so next up, 
this our third park has a, a very famous haunted house attraction. What could that be? Elsa's oh, so got one of these bad boys, a good old Vekoma boomerang. And our last clue is that it has a very historical place. This is a pretty easy answer. Shrimper's Rides. That's right. I will be making another annual trip over to good old Shrimper's Rides, which is one of my favorite smaller parks because of that awesome haunted house attraction and the tidal wave roller coaster. While it is pretty rough for a big rig, it'll be awesome to get back on it because it's a it's a great ride to marathon. I, I think boomerangs are good rides. I know a lot of people hate them, but I think it's a good ride. So it'll be nice to get back on that and a lot of the other flat rides in the park and the boardwalk food next door. Speaking of boardwalks, that's our first clue for the next park. It's going along a boardwalk. And you get a great view of the beach. And our last clue is that it has one of these crazy flat rides. And that answer goes to Jolly Roger on the pier. Well, I know their coaster is not good. Yes, I know. It'll be awesome to get on. I'll definitely ride it, though, because, you know what? I'll ride anything. Even if it gives me a headache, I'll still ride it. And I'm so excited to get back on that Power Surge ride. That thing was just insane. And then all the other flat rides in the park, too. So, yeah, I'm excited to get back over here. So, for our next clue, this is a park that has a little more of a tamer collection of rides. And it has a water park next to it, and our last close also has a go-karting complex next to it. Not fun spot, I'm sorry. Not fun spot, Atlanta. So that answer is pretty easy as well. If you haven't guessed it by now with the trend of Ocean City Parks, it's going to be Jolly Roger Amusement Park. I'm going to try to go over here. I, I said I was going to go in 2018, but I could not make it due to weather and money concerns. I just couldn't make it over there. But I'm going to try to get back over to this park this year. I heard they're getting a new roller coaster, so it'll be a new credit. Not this thing. I've done the Wildcat. But there's like adding like a flitzer stall ride. I'll be riding that. I'll try to ride that. And the two kitty coasters that I still have yet to ride. So, so next up we have two parks left. That's right, we still have two left. So, our first clue for the next park is that it's themed to Europe. Not necessarily in Europe, but it's themed to European countries. It also has a very iconic river. Ooh. And it's other park that, it's other park is in Tampa. Ooh, what could that be? That will be Busch Gardens Williamsburg. Yes, guys, I am going to Busch Gardens Williamsburg once again. This is a park that I've been to before. I went here in 2016, and I was speechless by this park. This park is awesome. They have such a cool coaster collection. And I still get to ride Invader. I'm so excited to get on Invader. It'll be also exciting to get back on a Polished Chariot, Alpengeist, Griffin, Verbolton, good old Loch Ness Monster, and Tempesto. It'll be awesome to get on all the other coasters too. And I'm excited just to get back over to this park because this park is so cool. And our last park. So our first clue is that it used to have a very cool volcano. Mmm, yeah. And the icon for this park is a Eiffel Tower. Mm. And our last clue is... Bruh! Who put a friggin' paw print here? Wasn't me. Let me go wipe it off. <sighs> Five minutes later. Okay, guys, I wiped it off. Wow, blue really is real. But, uh, for real, guys, um, our last clue is that one of their coasters actually goes through the woods. What could that be? That's a pretty easy answer too. King's Dominion. That's right, guys. I'm going to King's Dominion. I am so excited to go over here. This is a park that I've been wanting to go to since I became an enthusiast, like Dollywood. I'm excited to finally get on Intimidator 305 and finally get on Twisted Timbers. That ride looks awesome. And I'm excited for Dominator as well. Dominator as well. I know Volcano's not there anymore, but I'll still get to admire the, uh, you know. But I'm also excited for other great rides like Grizzly, Rebel Yell. Yes, I am not calling Racer 75. Screw Racer 75. Um, 
I'm excited for Flight of Fear, Black Backlot, Stunt Coaster, all the rides, really. I'm excited to get on all of them. Even Anaconda, even though I heard it sucks. I'll ride for the credit, you know. So, so for to summarize it all, I'll be visiting Carowinds, Dollywood, Shrimpers Rides, Jolly Roger and the Pier, Jolly Roger and Amusement Park, Busch Gardens, Williamsburg, and Kings Dominion. And if I get on every single ride, or every single coaster, that could total my coaster count to, drum roll please, 141. Yes, a nice good old big number. It's, 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 it's going to be hard, but hey, if we get on everything, if we get lucky, it's going to be 141. So that will do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Also, you all know what to do. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos and more content in the future. Also, don't forget to check out Theme Park High Productions on Instagram for more awesome content. Link will be in the description below. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a theme-tacular day.